Hello, everyone. I'm Olga Petrina from New York, and I'm recording today some updates from the virtual ACR meeting. I would like to share some uh, updates about the use of case in patients with severe refractory gout. There are several abstracts that talk about how to better or safer use a case. And I would like to start with the abstract 0065, which talks about uh, the increase uh, of use of case in combination with immunomodulatory therapy uh, to improve the outcomes. So in this particular study, authors report that while the use of immunomodulators along with case was extremely low in the period of time between 2015 and 2018, the average use during that time was between 1.2 and 4 percent. It, it exploded in 2019 up to 15 percent of uh, in, uh, use in combination with immunomodulators. I think it partially because we we are coming across more and more data on uh, safety of use of such combined treatments. And there are some clinical trial results uh, pertaining to use of metotrexate, azathioprine, or salcept along with case. So based on that data, it seems that the uh, implementation of immunomodulatory therapy into case infusion schedule becomes more popular overall amongst rheumatologists. Uh, and speaking about some background, why, uh, why such combination is effective and safe, uh, the abstract 0683 speaks about pharmacokinetics of concomitant use of case with metotrexate. So in this abstract, uh, authors outline um, the results of the concomitant use of metotrexate and pegloticase in 11 patients with uh, severe refractory gout. And in these patients, the trough and uh, Cmax was measured um, with and without uh, use of metotrexate. So in this particular study, they showed that uh, patients who received metotrexate along with case tend to have significantly lower uh, levels of trough below quantitative limit. In this study, 3.6 patients on metotrexate, I'm sorry, only 36% patients on metotrexate and 77% uh, of the patients without it experienced the trough levels below the quantitative limit. And then also um, maximum concentration of case seemed to be higher at two uh, microgram per milliliter in patients who used it with metotrexate as opposed to use without. So the study points to the fact that metotrexate probably prevents developing anti-drug antibodies and it improves the retention of the medication and the concentrations, although it did, did not have any effect on um, clinical response to treatment uh, in those patients who received combined therapy. And speaking of the results of the uh, of the effectiveness of this combined therapy, the abstract 0677, which is a result of the open label mirror trial, which is a, uh, initially was staged as a six month trial, but later um, extended, to, extended to 52 uh, weeks, which is 12 months. In this trial, uh, patients received uh, metotrexate uh, starting 30 days prior to initiations of glodicate infusions. And then out to 14 patients enrolled, 11 were able to complete the trial at six months. And then uh, three patients uh, dropped out of the trial for reasons unrelated to side effects. And interestingly enough, patients who were responders in the trial were actually able to successfully continue treatment up to 12 months with a good retention of serum uric acid below one. And in this trial, it showed that when uh, metotrexate was added to case, response rates improved significantly uh, in patients and more patients were able to retain efficacy of the medication. Uh, when it comes to side effects, the uh, frequency of flares was significant in the first 
12 weeks of trial. So 92.9 .9 patients experienced the flare-up gap in the treatment group, which is, uh, in my opinion, is expected uh, when you start effective uh, uric, uric acid lowering therapy. And then uh, over time, at weeks 36 and on, the frequency of flares dropped to only 25%. Also, um, there's one uh, severe side effect, which was sepsis in a in this trial and uh, the remainder, remainder of the side effects were diarrhea, upper respiratory infections, arthralgia, and uh, nasopharyngitis. Uh, no serious events, diverse events were, were recorded. So overall, it says that the use of methotrexin combination with pagliadicase seems to be effective and safe uh, way to, to, to administer the medication. And it is worth considering patients with uh, severe gout who are in need of this um, important and sometimes scary infusion. Um, uh, they definitely benefit from it. I hope you enjoyed uh, the ECR so far, and I'll keep you updated with more information going forward. For now, I wish you all a good day, and I'll see you soon on Room Now again. <laughs>